Hi everybody, this is Audrey, also known as Noble Strength, and welcome back to my channel. And today you're tuned in for a mini thrift haul. So if you like that kind of thing, go ahead, stick around, like, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload more videos. So my fashionistas out there and my thrifty fashionistas out there, I think you're gonna like this haul. Even though it's not a lot, I got some really nice, quality pieces and the first thing that i'm going to start out with is the non-clothing item the one non-clothing item that i got for five dollars and sixty cents at goodwill and it is this beach bag with this beautiful work of art on it i absolutely love this bag i think it is just absolutely adorable i love the detailing of the weaving i love the fabric choice that is on this bag and based on the research that I did, you know, just looking up online, various woven bags with decorative art, this bag more than likely came from the Bahamas um, because these are frequently sold to tourists as beach bags. And this shape and design um, could very well be from the 70s based on what I could find, but not really sure, nothing is confirmed. There were no tags on the inside, but let me just give you a close up of this beautiful bag. I just love the stitching on it. I love the flowers. I love the man and the woman with their nice decorative clothing. It is so beautiful. The back is plain. And then this side has a little bit of stitching on it. The bottom is just a plain oval and the inside is like a dark teal color, just a wide open space, no pockets or anything like that. Perfect for putting your blanket in, your water bottle or any other, you know, lotions that you may need for the beach. But I just thought this was just absolutely adorable. And since we do have a month left of summer, I felt like I could squeeze in some use of this bag at some point and make an excuse to drive to the beach because we are centrally located. I'm like two hours away from, you know, various beaches, but I just thought that was too cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but now we're going to head over to the clothing rack and I'm going to show you what I got and then we'll do a styling. So stick going around. to take a look at the clothing items that I got and I'm so excited about this one because it is my favorite piece out of the entire haul. It was the best deal out of the entire haul. So just so excited. And it's by a brand that I absolutely love. And it is this cute A-line color blocking skirt by White House Black Market. White House Black Market is a brand that has never disappointed me when I thrifted it. I have purchased things from the actual store, new with tags, but when you find them thrifting, that's even better. Like I said, $2.75. I love the color blocking. I think it's classic. You can wear it with so much. I like the fact that there are pockets. I love the thick waistband on this and I love the A-line flare of it. It's very flattering on any body type, very feminine and just so cute. And I also like that it is fully lined. So you have this uh, little slip underneath, which is nice. Like I said, it's very high quality, well-made. And all of the White House Black Market pieces that, like I said, I've ever thrifted, I absolutely love. And it has the um, invisible zipper in the back, or I should say the hidden zipper in the back. And I thought, I found this top at the same Goodwill that I thought would be a perfect complement to this skirt. It would actually look like a dress when you put them together. And that is this uh, cable engaged knit top. OMG, is that not a look? I thought, oh my gosh, people are gonna think this came with that, but it did not. Two different brands and I just think it's really cute. And both of them can be styled so many different ways because of the simple color blocking. And what I like about this top, it does have the splits on the side, which means you can wear it out with a cute little like capri uh, black pants and just some cute little sandals. So many different ways to style it. I love the sleeve on it. It kind of has like a little, I don't know, a little flare to the sleeve that I really, really like. And I like this brand. I found this brand before at like, uh, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, uh, Ross, places like that. But that is the cable engaged. 
Um, the top I picked up for $5. This skirt I picked up from Goodwill. This is a Talvis brand and this is a 100% wool, but it's a very lightweight wool and it is fully lined and Talvis is a great, great brand. And what I love about this wool, it's one of the lightweight wools that you can just wear year round. It, wool is breathable, it's natural, and like I say, they do have summer wools and you just kind of have to feel the weight of it. But probably in spring, fall, and winter, maybe not summer, just depending on the temperature, um, if you could wear it or not. But I just think it's really a nice, modest, nice length skirt that I could wear for a church in different places. And I actually had a skirt very similar to this before, but I got a little too big for it <laughs> when I started packing on the pounds and everything. And so I had to give it away. And now I found another one to replace it. All right, and then the very last thing that I picked up is this Divided crop top. And Divided is a brand that you can find at H&M. And I like uh, that brand. I thrifted things by this brand before that I really liked. And I've also purchased the, this brand directly from H&M as well. But I like the draping here, and I was planning on wearing this with my high waist black pants just for a nice black silhouette, and I just thought that would be really cute. It wouldn't expose too much. Now, some people don't mind exposing their little tummy area, and maybe if mine was a little bit flatter, I wouldn't either, but uh, I just like it, and it has a very close to the uh, neck uh, rounded neck and just regular sleeves so really cute and I picked this up for five dollars as well that's everything that I picked up on this collective haul now I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little styling for you I'll do some side by side so you can see some comparisons and then we will end the video but let's go to the styling my favorite part of the video Today's video is sponsored by New Life Art and Design, my business where I sell original works of art and graphic tees, and all regular tees are on sale for $16.95. Be sure to check out the site. This skirt from White House Black Market, I love it. But the look with top number one isn't quite hitting the way that I thought that it would, but you never know unless you try. For me, it's just a little too much competition going on. There's too much weight on the top for the bottom, in my opinion. Maybe if the sleeves were a solid black or maybe if it was sleeveless with the stripe, it would look nice. But I'm preferring look number two. The simplicity of this solid black crop top just looks a lot lighter, cleaner, and fresher, in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Oh yeah, and by the way, this skirt is a size four and I just wanted to note that because White House Black Market does vanity sizing so you probably wear a size smaller than you typically would maybe in another brand. Now this crop top is hitting just the way I thought it would with these high-waisted pants by H&M that I already had and I paired it with a pair of leopard print pumps and I'm wearing a Layla belt from House of Hot and the bag is from AliExpress, a nice kind of Chanel boy bag dupe I love this look. It only exposes a little bit of the stomach and it, my pants come up high enough to where it covers the navel. And so you're just showing a little bit of peekaboo there, not too much, and I actually like this look. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I style this Talbot skirt with a Target tank top and a free people belt and the boots are surprisingly from Kroger guys and guess what brand they are they're SM New York which is a brand under the Steve Madden brand label never knew it never knew you learn something new every day and they sell belts and bags by uh, Steve Madden and this bag I can't remember the brand but I thrifted that in a previous haul I completely forgot to film an outro, so that is it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed it, and remember to be a good steward of all that God has given you, because he loves us so much, and I love you too. Bye.